So I will talk a little bit about what we have added uh, with hindsight to security to the product in the year 2016. I won't go into much of technical details, but more show some nice slides. One example that we have added is uh, we now have a brute force detection enabled by default in the login. So uh, how it works is basically if somebody tries to log in and uses an invalid password, uh, the next login attempt from this subnet range will be limited and uh, will be throttled to a sm smaller speed. So in an extreme case, each login attempt from a specific sub range will take up to 30 seconds. And this is pretty nice because it's enabled by default. You don't have to do anything. And most users won't be affected by it until you enter your password like wrong 20 times and then you are confused why right? logging in takes a little bit longer. Another thing that has been added is support for a second factor. Christoph has written uh, great stuff for this. Thank you very much. So how it works is basically what once you have entered your password, your username, you will be asked, hey, please provide this second factor as well. And if you don't have the second factor, you won't be authenticated. So even if somebody has your password, they won't be able to access your account. And this is in implemented in a pretty modular way. So you can write your very own uh, second factor provider. So this is, for example, one using the TOTP standard. But it's also possible to integrate uh, physical hardware devices like YubiKeys or whatever you, pl you please. It's pretty modular, that's nice. Another thing that has been added are same side trees. That's something that probably nobody has ever seen as an active user. What it does is actually, uh, it's a specific type of attribute you can set to a cookie. And these cookies will only be sent if the page, if the request has been sent from the same page. So if I send you a link to your next cloud and uh, it's a controller which enforces this specific security check, the page won't even open. So your browser will say, no, can't open this. This is at the moment supported in Chrome and Opera. So if you use those, you will automatically profit, benefit from this. And it works pretty nicely. So. Another thing that has been added are application-specific passwords. So what you can do now is you go to your personal settings, you create a new application-specific password, and then you say, hey, this is my, I don't know, iPhone or Android device, and then you get a new password, which you can use as login password on your mobile device. This is something you need if you have, for example, a second factor enabled, because obviously at the moment the Android device won't ask you, hey, please enter your second factor. So you need to provide an application-specific password, which by design bypasses the second factor of integration. And this is also pretty nice, because it also allows you to um, revoke access for specific devices. So if you are logged in with an application-specific password or with a client which already kind of uses the sessions probably, you will see in your user account which clients are logged in for uh, and when the last access was. And if you click on this little delete button, the user won't be able to log in anymore uh, from this device. So this also is implemented in a way that it also works together with the password change mechanism. So the reasoning here is if you change your password, the expectation may be that everything you previously used will be locked out. So if you, for example, have your iPhone configured with your Nextcloud, it would still be able to log in before because it uses the session and not the user password. But with this change, if you change your user password, every client will be locked out and they have to re-authenticate at the moment. One exception for this is uh, application-specific passwords, which you can you obviously configure and will always stay in, well, always, in most cases, will stay valid. So, that's it for my side, and next one. <laughs>